What's up guys? I know I haven't posted a vlog in a while, but it's news time! It's gonna be a long one, so buckle up. Pokemon website, they've released a wealth of information on the new Pokemon, Meltan, which I still want to call Nut Boy. A new species of Pokemon, one that nobody has ever seen before, has been discovered. This Pokemon is called Nut Boy, and as of now, is quite the enigma. So the name's Meltan. Category, Hex Nut Pokemon. Type is Steel, height is 8 inches, and it's 17.6 pounds. That's a lot of info. Most of Meltan's body is made from liquid metal and its shape is very fluid. It can use its liquid arms and legs to corrode metal and absorb it into his own body. Meltan generates electricity using the metal absorbs from outside sources. It uses this electricity as an energy source and also as an attack that can be fired from its eye. Clearly a curious Pokemon, Meltan is very expressive and shows an interest in all kinds of things. So I did doubt it before, but this is confirmation that Meltan is indeed the new Pokemon that's gonna be the time between Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee and Pokemon Go as evidenced here where they show the two professors from the two different games and they outline their bios. Professor Oaks does his research on Pokemon in his laboratory in the Kanto region's Pallet Town. He is one of the leading authorities in the field of Pokemon research and Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. He gives a Pokedex to both you and your rival, entrusting you with his dream of completing it. The basic plot and premise of Pokemon Yellow, which this is based off of, and our faithful Professor Willow. Professor Willow's research centers around plenty of field work and the help of Pokemon Go players all over the world to fully understand the habitats and distribution of Pokemon. He was once an assistant to Professor Oak, and it seems he talks to his mentor whenever he runs into a hitch in his research. As evidenced by these videos, the two Professor, episode one and two, one we kind of went over a little bit. It was the first discovery of Meltan, and Professor Oak looking it up and saying, oh yeah, I've heard about that. That's, you know, that's Meltan. He's a a uh, mythical Pokemon. So in episode two of the two professors, Professor Oak is saying the question we're all kind of asking, what happened to all the freaking Meltans? And Professor Oak is like, I don't know bro, but I got this box. And inside this box, there's a hunk of metal. And that metal happens to be made of the same stuff that Meltan's made out of. I have a theory, I'ma send you this. And so Professor Willow gets the box in the mail and he opens it and boom, nut boys everywhere. And Professor Oak goes, that confirms my theory that if you open that box in the natural habitat of nut boy, Meltan, Meltans will appear. And then all of a sudden the box closed and there were no more nut boys. And then Professor Willow's like, what the heck, man? And Professor Oak's like, oh yeah, my bad. The box closes on its own after a certain amount of time. On that groundbreaking discovery, <laughs> <laughs> that the mystery box is somehow tied to the appearance of Meltan. New special research quests will be coming to Pokemon Go that will let you embark on a search for the mythical Pokemon Meltan. Look forward to this new special research this winter where you can participate in various investigations with Professor Willow and Cash Meltan. Which then leads us to this really charming video of somebody doing research on Meltan in their home and she's taking notes and says notes about new Pokemon species question mark and you see her home is invaded by Meltan and it's super charming and adorable. It seems like their body are made out of some kind of liquid metal. They're clumsy. Oh, they hit their heads together. They seem to be of various sizes. One has stolen her fork. They love all kinds of metal, and they seem able to absorb it into their bodies. Uh -huh. Don't touch that, it's hot. They can sure cause trouble. And I like how their eyes can pop out. That's kind of cute. So initially, I thought this was kind of like the design team, like, phoning it in with the design of Meltan. But watching this video, I'm starting to think they're super cute. But they're curious little things. Somehow, I can't help but like them. So, yeah, there you go. Aw. And they continue to have, like, cute Cute, adorable antics to their little wiggly tail. And this is cute too. They're all sleeping. That's not all. And there we go. There looks like a shadow of an evolved form of Meltan. Nut boy becomes nut man. But think Meltan still holds a greater secret to be uncovered. So, the mystery box holds the key to catching Meltan. We now know that Meltan appears in Pokemon Go. In order to catch Meltan, it is essential to have a mystery box which can be received by sending Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Sending Pokemon from Pokemon Go into one of the Nintendo Switch sites will get you certain items in the app, such as candies for the species of Pokemon you sent. However, the first time you send a Pokemon, you'll also be able to get a very special item, a mystery box. The mystery box closes itself after it's used once. The only way to open it again is to wait a set amount of time and then send another Pokemon to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. You can also get a mystery box for sending Pokemon to a friend's Nintendo Switch game, but you can only have one mystery box at a time. Meltdown would begin to appear once a mystery box is opened in Pokemon Go but be careful, they'll only appear for the player that opened the mystery box. Touch a Meltan you see on the field map and then try to catch it with a Pokeball. That's just an overcomplicated way of saying you get just one, but once that one is expired, you can refresh it by transferring a Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu. So you're not getting a different box when you transfer over to your friend's Switch, you're just same box, clear? 
school. You can then bring the Meltan you catch in Pokemon Go to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, where it can follow you around during your adventure in the Kanto region. Even if you don't catch Meltan in Pokemon Go yourself, you can ask a friend to send one that they've caught into your Nintendo Switch game. That's awesome. Okay. Oh my gosh, more news, frick. Pokemon Go Hub has done an APK mine of version 0.123.1 and there's a bunch of new stuff. They got 18 new moves incoming. We got Meteor Mash, Skull Bash, Acid Spray, Earth Power, Crap Hammer, Lunge, Crush Claw, Octazooka, Mirror Shot, Fell Stinger, Leaf Tornado, Leech Life, Drain Punch, Shadow Bone, Muddy Water, Blaze Kick, Razor Shell, Super Pounce. So right now most of these moves are missing their assets like animations or sound files, but they're clearly there in the code. It's good to see Niantic adding moves to the game, you know, in conjunction with the upcoming rebalance, this looks a whole lot like they're preparing for PvP. That's all I'm saying. Just speculation. Speculation. That's what the news is all about. So they've added references to Generation 4, from Turtwig to Arceus. The cries for all the Pokemon were already added in the APK. And all the new forms for select Generation 4 Pokemon were also added. Also the addition of the Gen 4 badge, reference in the code. The visual asset is missing, but it's currently bugged. If you're currently running 123.1, if you look at your Pokedex screen, it shows up as the generic Pokeball. Three new background tracking modes were added. Background mode Egg Hatch, background mode Buddy Candy, background mode Weekly fitness report. They've added two new cries, probably Meltan and its evolution, listed as 891 and 892. Oh. We've also got a new box sprite. It was silently added called Local Box at PNG. There's no clue as of now what it is, but it looks fancy. Here's a big one, and I haven't seen this at all, and I have the APK running on my phone, but apparently AR Plus is now available for Android. The official patch notes state that AR Plus is now available on select Android devices. In order for AR Plus to work on Android, a Pokemon Go player first needs to install Google's AR Core platform as dictated by the app. Once installed, you could have it already on your device. Your phone could be AR Plus capable if it's one of the following devices, and there's a comprehensive list at the link below. Hello. And according to this list, my phone is there, but I don't see any options for Air Plus. And I've got Air Core running, so I don't know. So the patch notes might be for a future activation of Air Plus on those devices, or maybe they just got their cables crossed and it's gonna come out in a future version. Who knows? Either way, I'm super excited. That's a lot of freaking news, guys. I'm excited for the possibility of having Air Plus on my freaking phone. I'm waiting long enough, even though it doesn't seem to be working as of now. And the fact that it's been an official announcement, I'm happy. That means it's coming. Also, Meltan, how excited are you? I don't know, that evolved form looks super dope, even though its shadow kind of looks like Red Rock. What are your thoughts? When do you think Gen 4 is gonna drop? Will it drop around Halloween time like the other generations? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you enjoyed this news update, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. Hit that notification bell to become part of the notification squad and be the first person to know when I drop a video or if I go live. For more up-to-date shenanigans, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Links in the description below. Also, there's a PayPal link if you're so inclined to show me some love. Hopefully the news cycle slows down so I can edit the vlog and have an amazing week, guys. Peace out.